Hi class, it's Mrs. Lawson. Welcome to our oral language lesson. Today we're looking at two verbs. They are the verbs lie and lay. I'd like for you to do that with me so that you remember. Lie and lay. Lie means to recline and lay means to place or set. I have 10 sentences that I'm going to say and you can repeat them after me. Let's try them together. The first one goes like this. If you lie down, you will feel better. That toy has lain there all day. He laid his fork down when he finished. Natalia lay down for a nap this afternoon. Hunter was lying in his hammock when we arrived. He will probably lie there until supper time. He lays his coat in the same spot every day. He laid his assignment on his desk. Prince has lain on the couch all morning. He laid his hammer on his workbench. Did you repeat the sentences after me? When we practice using our verbs correctly, it will help us remember them. Today, we were looking at two different verbs. The first verb is the verb lie. And the verb lie means to recline or to lie down. It has three parts to it. Sometimes we use the word lie. Other times we say lay, and other times we say have lain. All of those mean that we are reclining or that we lie down. The other verb that we reviewed is the verb lay, and it means to set something somewhere. If we lay it down, we are setting it in place. It has three parts as well, although two of them are sort of the same. The first one, when we use the word lay, we can say lay, we lay it down. Other times we said we laid it down. And when we spell laid, it is L-A-I-D. We're gonna be practicing these two verbs, lie and lay, all week. I hope that you practice with me. I hope that you have a great day class. Bye-bye.